Keith and his seven friends are at the amusement park. The eight of them are going to ride the Ferris wheel. They can only ride it two at a time. How many different combinations of friends can ride the Ferris wheel? To figure this out, we're going to use a permutation. A permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. In this case, we're not talking so much about objects, but we're talking about people. And we're talking about those friends going on the Ferris wheel. Let's think about what we know and then figure this out. We know that there are eight friends. They can ride the Ferris wheel two at a time. So we want to know the permutation of eight friends taken two at a time. There is a specific order to this. So if we have eight friends two at a time, we can take eight and multiply by that by seven, which gives us an answer of 56. There are 56 combinations. Now you might be wondering where I got the seven from. We're going to take the friends two at a time. So we start with eight times seven. Here's the first, there's the second number, and by multiplying those together, we get the total number of combinations of ways to ride the Ferris wheel. What about three at a time? You mean what about if three friends were going to ride at the same time? How many combinations could there be? Well, once again, we can use permutation notation to figure this out. We want the permutation of eight friends going three at a time. We start with eight times seven times six. We know that eight times seven is fifty-six. Fifty-six times six is three hundred and thirty-six. Wow, there are a lot more combinations if the friends are going on three at a time. There's a lot of different ways to arrange those eight friends. What about if we did four at a time? Hmm. Let's use permutation notation again. We still have the eight friends, but this time they're going four at a time. So we have eight times seven times six times five. We know this is 56 times six times five equals 1,680 or 1,680 different combinations. Here are those eight friends again. This time they're going to go on a different ride. That's right, they're going to go on the tilt-a-whirl. Now, it isn't so much who's going to ride with who, but what order they're going to go in. They want to know how many different ways each of the eight friends can possibly be arranged. So we want the permutation of eight friends taken eight at a time. Wow! When you have a permutation that looks like this, you can write it as a shortcut. You can write it as an eight factorial, which means we're going to have eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And we want to know how many different combinations of places the friends can stand in. How many combinations are there? How many different orders can they possibly be on when they're on the tilt-a-whirl? Let's multiply these together and that will give us our answer. There are 40,320 different ways for eight friends to arrange themselves when they're going on the tilt-a-whirl all at the same time. Wow, that is a lot of different combinations.